In this lecture, you are going to learn what is strict mode in JavaScript and how to activate strict mode. Now, a strict mode in JavaScript is a special mode which makes it easier to write secure code. In simple words, strict mode changes previously accepted bad syntax into real errors. In order to activate strict mode, we use a string called use strict. And that's it. In this way, we have activated strict mode for this entire script. Okay. Now, this use strict statement has to be the very first statement in the script. If we have any code before this, then strict mode will not be activated. Comments are allowed because JavaScript will just ignore them, but no code. Okay, so we learned that strict mode allows us to write secure code. And by secure code, I mean that it allows us to avoid any accidental errors. So basically, it allows us to avoid bugs to introduce in our code. And this is possible because of two reasons. The first reason is that strict mode forbids us to do certain things. And the second reason is it will actually create visible errors for us in certain situations in which without strict mode, JavaScript will simply fail silently without letting us know that we did a mistake. Let's understand this with an example. So let's create a variable. Let's call it first name. But here I'm creating this variable without using let const of var keyword. Okay. So we have learned that when we create a variable like this, in that case, this variable will be created as a property on the window object, right? So without strict mode, this variable declaration is not going to throw any error. So if I save the changes, you can see that we don't have any error in the developer console. But if I use strict mode, it will not allow us to do something like this. So now if I save the changes, you can see we have an error that first name is not defined. So when you use strict mode, you need to declare a variable either using let, const or var keyword. You cannot create a variable like this in strict mode. And in this way, you can avoid introducing bug in your program. Let's take another example. So let's create a variable. Let's call it is eligible for voting. And let's set it to false for now. Then let's create another variable. Let's call it is full age. And let's set it to true. Now let's write an if statement. And here let's say if is full age. If it is true, then we want to change is eligible for voting to true. But let's say for some reason while typing this variable name I misspell it. So instead of capital F, I use lowercase f. Okay, so here I have misspelled this variable name. So now this variable and this variable, they are two different variables, right? These are not same variables now. Okay, and after this, let's try to log. This is eligible. So console.log is eligible for voting. So now I have typed it correctly, but here I have misspelled it. Okay. Now without strict mode, let's see what happens when I save the changes. So here you can see we don't have any error, but when I'm, when I'm logging is eligible for voting, it is logging false, but here I have set it to true. So currently I know that here I have misspelled it, but it is a pretty common mistake, which many developers do and because of this, we can have bugs in our program. But if you see here, JavaScript is not throwing any error. It has returned false. But, you know, the developer doesn't know that he has committed a mistake here. He has misspelled the variable name. So he will get confused like why this false is returned here, even though he has set it to true inside this if statement. So. In the normal mode, JavaScript is not throwing any error. But now let's use strict mode. Now if I save the changes, you will see that now JavaScript is throwing this error that is eligible for voting is not defined. Okay, so when the developer will see here that this is not defined, then he will know that he has misspelled the variable name. Okay, 
So in this way, if we use strict mode, we can avoid a lot of bugs, a lot of mistakes in our program. Okay. Now let's take one more example. So let's comment this code here. Now let's create a function and we have not talked about function yet, but just remember that here we are creating a function and to a function we can pass some values and we can pass value to a function by using function parameters. So let's say to this function I'm passing two parameters and the name of both these parameters are same. Okay, now let's call this function and for now let's comment this strict mode and if I save the changes you will see that we don't have any error even though we have provided two parameters with the same name in the normal mode that means when we are not using strict mode we don't have any error but if we use strict mode then JavaScript will throw an error that duplicate parameter name not allowed in this context okay so you can see how strict mode can be helpful in avoiding mistakes in your program and that's what I mentioned earlier in strict mode it actually creates visible errors for us which can immediately tell us that we are doing some mistake in our program okay now finally when we use strict mode then you cannot use reserved keywords for future JavaScript version as a variable name okay so for example uh, we have a keyword called interface and this can be implemented in the future version of JavaScript so here I cannot use it as a variable name okay if I try to use it as a variable name in strict mode then we will have an error if I save the changes you can see that we have an error unexpected strict mode reserved keyword okay so this interface has not been implemented yet in JavaScript version but it might be included in the future version of JavaScript and if we are using strict mode then we cannot use it as a variable name not only this any keyword which is reserved for future versions of JavaScript we cannot use it as a variable name in the strict mode so the takeaway from this lecture is that we should always use strict mode in order to avoid any bugs in our JavaScript program this is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.